The stars are right, and that means it's time for another episode of The Whisper in Darkness. I'm your host, The Man from Lang. Thank you very much for joining me today. We are back. Uh, I am joined by uh, Nate, uh, lost in time and space, Winslow. How are you doing, Nate? I'm well, thanks, man. How are you? Oh, not bad. Isn't technology wonderful? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> yes, Nate and I just spent the past hour trying to get everything to work like it did the last time, and... Uh, Eventually, eventually it did. Skype sucks, but uh, well, <laughs> it's a mixture of everything. Yes, but it's yeah. fine. it's fine. We got it all working now. We got it all working. So Nate and I are continuing our campaign through the path to Carcosa. We are playing uh, Echoes of the Past this time around. Uh, if you remember last time, uh, we. Uh, Poor Nate and I uh, had a rough run through The Last King, and uh, uh, Mark actually ended up taking a uh, physical trauma, although uh, there was a player who pointed out that we could have gotten out without the physical trauma, a uh, pro play for sure. Um, but uh, we, we have the physical trauma, and uh, we'll have to make do with that. We're going to swap over here to Octagon, where we should all be... Uh, Everybody's looking good this morning. And uh, we picked up uh, five experience points last uh, last scenario. So uh, Mark went ahead and picked up two copies of I've Had Worse uh, Level 2 and uh, saved one experience point for future considerations. What did you do to your deck, Nate? Uh, I ended up taking out Read the Signs and a copy of Six Cents for two copies of In the Know, and then I took out uh, Ritual Candles for a copy of Storm Spirits Level 3. Hi, Juicy. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it today. We're a little bit late. We planned to start it uh, an hour ago, but uh, technology is, is a wonderful thing for sure. So uh, we will... Uh, so there aren't, uh, I guess there are some fairly significant differences between the uh, Return to uh, Echoes and the regular Echoes, namely the addition of another floor to the Historical Society. And uh, so we have a basement here. We've got the Histor Historical Society basement uh, that we will uh, get to explore as well. Or I guess it just gives more locations for... For enemies to hide in um, and we also add uh, add a few uh, a few of the new encounter sets there's also these guys the uh, keeper of the oath they are uh, bad news uh, they're uh, they have uh, five fight three health and three agility and while the number of the current act is greater than the number of the current agenda, Keeper of the Oath gains Hunter. And at the enemy f at the end of the enemy phase, find each investigator whose location shares a trait with Keeper. Move one clue from each of those investigators to Keeper of the Oath. So, uh... Ugh. That's, uh... Yeah, that's gonna be tough to remember. Hello, Joe. Uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, welcome, uh, hippie crap. Thank you for, uh, for tuning in. And, uh, I think we are, I guess we're ready to go. So we, uh, we will draw our opening hands and, uh, hopefully everything will work. So. Well, we'll get that out of the way. Ooh. Over here, so you've got a deny existence, a Saint Hubert's key, two drawn to the flames, and an enraptured. Yeah, not the best. Uh, is that your final hand, or did? No, you... it's just my this is my opening hand. Yeah, so you can go ahead and mulligan if you want. Oh yeah, we we gonna do that for sure. Debating on whether or not I want to keep one, at least one of these drawn to the flames, because I could, I could use Gatebox early and try to snag some of these clues before the seeker takes them. Yeah. 
That is true. I have to remember that they are aloof because... Uh, you have to spend actions to engage on them, yeah. Yes, yes, Mark will definitely want to take him out before he steals all our clues and turns and converts them into uh, doom. So I think I'm going to get rid of these three. Juicy says he will be playing a standalone run of Carnival with 39 XP Leo while watching the stream. Oh. Uh, so now you've got your weakness, Sixth Sense and Dr. Mylan Christopher. Okay, there we go. Hi, Robert. Nah. Uh, welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. Okay. So I wish I had a little more resource generation, but we'll have to use... We'll have to use Dr. Mylan Christopher as a means of getting resources before I can play everything else. Yeah, it looks like your Storm of Spirits isn't showing up, so that's fine. Oh, that's, that's weird. It shows up on my screen. Yeah, I don't have that uh, that image uh, pack installed, so... Well... Because it would overwrite my the ones that I've already put in. I'll fix that. Um, uh, okay, gotcha. So I drew two copies of Taunt, uh, Scene of the Crime, uh, Take the Initiative, and... 32 cold. I just need to check something here. Because I should have the man in the pallid mask in my deck, right? I should. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we need to add him. Before I forget. Yeah. So you go in there. Alright, so I will be getting rid of a bunch of these cards, because helpful and so we're drawing four we've got an elusive unexpected courage scene of the crime and an evidence so not uh, not a great hand at least you do your weapon so it's uh, Sageless one says your mic is really echoing do you have the stream up somewhere uh yeah. Does that does that help? Yeah, that should probably you're not equi on my end, but uh huh. Okay. So I did not draw a super awesome hand, but uh yeah, let us know if there's any, um, if you're hearing any mic issues or anything like that. Welcome, Sageless One. Glad you could make it. Uh, I think we're ready to go, are we not? I think so, yeah. All right, so let's go to the first investigation phase. Who wants to go first? Um, why don't you go first, because I think your turn's going to be a little simpler. Yeah, I would love to be able to play a bunch of uh, bunch of cards with my uh, <clears throat> ever vigilant, but that's not going to happen. So I think I will play one card. My thirty-two Colts, and then I will move twice. And that will be my turn. Move up to the third floor so I can take out this guy. The All right. Seeker of Carcosa. All right, so my turn. I'm going to go ahead and spend four resources to play Mylan Christopher. And then, let's see here. Let's go ahead and use Gatebox. Let's whoop. let's go ahead and move here, and let's play Drawn to the Flame, and we'll play it as though we're in Mr. Peabody's office. 
So what's my encounter card? Your encounter card is a fanatic. Oh, that's lame. There you go. Something for you to kill, at least. So he is up here as well. And after he enters play, move one clue to the fanatic, which becomes a doom. So there are three clues, and you grab two of them. Not bad. And then let's... Uh... Nate is quite loud. I will uh, attempt to do something about that. Okay. Is that better? Oh, I see what it's doing. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, just talk for me for a second. I'll just talk for Cameron for a second here. Okay, that should be just, better. Okay. I thought it. I thought it was uh, coming. Your voice is coming through the headphones, but it's actually got you down as an NDI source. So it's. Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Making you too loud, but that's fixed now. Thank you, Juicy. I was going to say, you could add a limiter onto it too. But anyway, uh, last action, let's go ahead and just... I guess I'll just move into this hallway location. Hi, Pluttercal. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, we just started. We, uh, we have uh, just taken our first turn, actually. So we are... Uh, yeah, so good timing. Not too far. Hi, Brown Loaf. Welcome to the stream. We uh, Yeah, we just started. So we are... Uh, we are one turn in, uh, so F12. Have you pushed F12, Nate? I uh, have. Hey, I don't know why it's not doing anything. Yeah, that's weird. OK, well, we'll just have to. Uh, yeah, that's strange too. Just more technical issues that seem to be uh, to be plaguing us. So we will uh, do it the old-fashioned way. Do it the old-fashioned way. Just add a resource and draw a card. I grab an enchanted blade. It's weird. I don't like none of my shortcuts are working. Okay, that's weird. Oh, fine. And then I draw my weakness. Haunted. That well, could be worse. At least I got it now instead of instead of later on. Let's... Well, it's kind of actually the. Uh, it's nice because we don't add doom anyway, so it's not uh, not terrible. Oh, now it's working. Okay. Weird. So go back. Go back. And... Will it undo the draw? Uh, you have to undo the draw manually. If, okay. it drew, if it drew you a card, you just have to put it back on your deck. And... Okay. And mythos phase, we don't add, we don't draw, we don't add a doom anyway. Okay. Resources. So my card is going to be that one. Okay. And your card is going to be that one. Oh, oh joy. joy. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Fun. So, uh, we have to add... There's only one clue there, so this guy gets a doom. And we are ready to go. Okay. Well. I want to go do some killing 
We've already got two of four Doom on the table. Wow. Mm hmm. But I have my gun and I can shoot some guys dead. So I will move into the Peabody's office. I will automatically engage this guy. I will shoot him in the face with my gun. Pew pew! So we are going five versus three. Uh, do I want to do anything? I'm going to go. S What's our? What are the? What are those? They're minus twos. Um, skulls are minus ones right now. Cultists are minus twos. So yeah, I think uh, five versus three should be fine. We get a zero. Yeah, it's fine. fine. So he will die. I have one action left, so I'm going to take a draw action. And I get an emergency aid. Well, all right, my turn's going to be pretty simple, too. So I'm going to take two actions to get rid of this haunted, and then I'm going to take a resource. That'll be my turn. All right. So we go to upkeep. You pick Ooh, up nice. an in the know, and I pick up a shortcut. All right. So we are on turn, going into turn three. And we will uh, draw our encounter cards. Uh, mine is going to be the King's Edict. So for each cultist enemy in play, move one clue from that enemy's location to that enemy. Until the end of the round, each cultist enemy in play gets plus one fight for each clue and or doom on it. If no clues are moved, it gains surge, so no clues were moved, so it will surge. And the cultist doesn't get bigger. That's nice. Mysterious <laughs> chanting. Place two doom on the nearest cultist enemy. Well. That's, that's fine. You're going to kill, kill that guy anyway. anyway. Uh, and that will be that. Your card is going to be... Maddening Delusions. Hi, Varen212. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, we're only in turn three. Uh, uh, so you, if you have one or more hidden cards in your hand, you take a horror. Uh, which, which I, I do. do. And it has Surge. All right, so, so what, what do I Surge into? into? Uh, you Surge into False Lead. Ooh, nice. I have clues, so that's good. Uh, so let's see. If I have one or more clues, test intellect four. For each point I fail by, place one of my clues on my location. That's annoying. All right. Well, it's four versus four as of right now. Um, that's just going to have to do, unfortunately. So let's see what I get. Four versus four. Minus one. Gross. Alright, so I have to drop a clue onto my location. Alright. Um, so my guy gets bigger. For each doom on him, he's plus one, so he is going to be a five. Gross. So that is not good. Uh, so we're done with the mythos phase. Mm hmm. Um, so I could, I could investigate, do something, move, and give you two icons. You need icons. Yeah, I may need some icons. I've got an unexpected courage, mm -hmm. but I've got to fight this guy twice, which is going to be uh, an issue. I can also Sophie to give me uh, plus a two. Buff. Yeah. So if you can come over and give me a buff for for one of them. That okay. Awesome. Uh, that can, this guy also that... gets bigger, I think. Uh, if you cannot move a clue, so yeah, he's super. This guy is super sized now. He's a six. 
Gee whiz. So you can go ahead and do what you're going to do. All right, so I guess I'll start debating on whether or not I want to play Six Sense or St. Hebert's Key. Mm, I think I'm going to play St. Hebert's Key. So that'll be action number one. Yeah. And then action number two will be to investigate. It's going to be five versus three. Get a skull. Ugh, gross, which is a minus four, so that's a fail. But then we'll spend our last action to move. And that'll be that. All right. Well, I have a pretty simple turn. If we don't want to advance next turn, we need to kill this guy. So I am going to take an action to engage him. So he is a massive six. So I am a five. So I can give you two. So I can play a unexpected courage. And so that would be nine versus six. I think you need to be four over because of the skull now. Yeah, so I will Sophie. So should I still include this? Um, yeah. Uh, well, if I Sophie, then I'm nine versus... Nine versus six anyway. Um, no, don't include yours. I'll Sophie this turn, this one, and then you can play that next one. Okay. And uh, I will draw a card, which is an emergency cash. So I am nine, and then I will commit, I guess, the scene of the crime to go 10 versus six. Chaos bag says zero. Nice. So he takes two. Let's do that again. All right, so I'll give you my two icons this turn for this action. Okay, so... And then I will Sophie again. No card draw. So we are nine versus six. I only have one icon left, but I'm going to commit that because the skulls are just too dangerous. Cool. Uh, so we are going 10 versus 6. Chaos Bag says plus 1. So, of course, the Chaos Bag is kind to us. And this guy is dead. That's, That's okay. okay. It's probably, probably worth it in the long run. Yeah, no, I can I can get another weapon. I'm not too worried about that. Yeah. So, so we finish off the biggest threat on the table. So that's good. Um, yeah. Is that it? Yep. So. so we will go to the upkeep. I draw my weakness. For every two damage, take a horror, so I take a horror. Okay. I draw a deny existence. All right. And uh, actually, I have to take a direct damage and a horror as well because of this stupid thing. Oh, uh, as do I. Good so call. So discard this card, take a direct damage and a direct horror. So, oh, man, am I already flipping Sophie? No, I need to heal next turn. If I can. Uh, yes. So that is that. Uh, too bad I couldn't play the evidence to actually grab a clue there, but I do have an emergency aid, so I can heal some damage. Yeah. And we go to the Mythos phase. Turn four, Mythos phase. My card is going to be the Wizard of the Order. Uh, I'm going to put him right next door. He will gain a doom at the end of the mythos phase. I will just add that now. 
and your card is another seeker of Carcosa. Oh my, oh my goodness. goodness, all the enemies. So any empty historical society location. Do you want to stick to the third floor? <laughs> I mean, we're already here. Yeah. All right, we'll put them over here. So there are four clues here. He goes there. One of the clues goes away. He gains a doom. Hi, Willie Chai. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. Uh, what software are you using to play Arkham Online? We are using Octagon to play it online. And uh, if you do a search for uh, OCTGN in uh, Google, you will find Octagon. And then if you do a search for Arkham Horror LCG plus OCTGN, you will find the uh, Mythos packs that you need in order to... Uh, the uh, card images and uh, whatnot that you need to play. Okay. All right, so, gross. I think you're going to have to go first. Yeah. Um, good thing he's weak. He does have retaliate, though, and I need to heal, but I can play a shortcut. Uh, so I think I'm going to heal first. Uh, so we will heal two damage. This is my first action. I'm going to use shortcut off my uh, stick to the plan to shortcut over to the quiet hulls and engage this guy. And then I'm going to try to shoot him. So we're five versus four. Uh, I'm going to add a damage and Sophie. Oh, there's a beat cop. That's good. Uh, so we're going to go five, six, seven versus four. That should be good, I think. Yeah, uh, that should be good. Chaos bag says skull, that's a minus one. Uh, so yeah. the wizard of the order is dead. I have one action remaining. Uh, man, I wish I could play that. Uh, actually, I could. I'm going to evidence to discover this clue. There you go. go. And then I'm going to gain a resource because I want to play my uh, three assets. Yeah, I still can't. Uh, I'll gain a resource as my final action. Mm. Okay. That is me. All right. Now what do I do? Could, let's see. Move, move, investigate isn't a terrible option. I think that's what I'm going to do. So we'll spend an action to move. And we'll spend another action to move again. And then go ahead and use our last action to investigate five versus three here. Oh my god. That's so a minus four. four. Uh, I right, see my well, luck is my luck is rubbed off on you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, thanks for that. All right. Well, that's a uh, that's investigation phase. All right. So, we go to upkeep. I draw a knife had worse. And I draw a copy of shriveling man. I've just been trying to gain a resource off this mining Christopher. <laughs> it's not happening. It's not, it's happening. not <laughs> happening. So uh, I can Why cancel this some damage. The taboo list of you? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it on the taboo list if I just can't get the resources from it? Uh, so we will go to the mythos phase. Uh, my card is going to be an acolyte. I guess we're just playing whack a mole here up in the. <laughs> I guess so, man. Uh, and he will gain a doom. It's weird that, like, you're in the hallway and you wouldn't have seen him, like, come up and you were just in that room, so... Yeah. 
He was hiding in under Peabody's desk, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> under the floorboards. And your card is going to be a fanatic. Oh, God. oh gee whiz. Uh, so, yeah, so this is like a own. repeat of last turn. He spawns engaged with me. And he gets a doom as well. God damn it. Um, and this guy gets another doom. Well, we, we go in Bobai in the gate box. Okay, so I can go in and kill. I guess I can kill the fanatic easily enough. Um, if you kill the fanatic, it gives me a chance to investigate. Uh, yeah. Um, just trying to. There's too many things to kill at this point. <laughs> um, I want to play my beat cop too. Uh, so if I play my beat cop move, I guess I could take a shot at him if you're engaged with him. I know that's dangerous, but. Uh, I've got a shortcut as well, so that's okay. Let me. I I think I can do it all in one turn here. All right. So I'm gonna play. Cat. I'm gonna play my beat cop because they are awesome. He's only level level zero beat cop though, so he's a sucky beat cop. He's, he's only going, going up from here, here though. Uh, I will shortcut in. I will engage the fanatic off of you. Hi, Lograk. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. Engage the fanatic, and I will attempt to shoot said fanatic. Uh, we are going six versus three. Uh, skulls are minus two. Chaos bag says. Chaos bag says. Cultist, that's a minus two. So he is dead. Nice. And that is my turn. All right. So with my turn, let's go ahead and spend my first action to investigate. Five versus three. Yes, Bay says. Oh, my God. <laughs> you it's suck so at this game today. I don't know what it is. It's so cruel. Uh, you have I yet to it. successfully investigate this entire game. <laughs> I've, I've only gained, gained clues because of drawn to the flame. I this think is we, awful. I think we need to we need to send a note, an email to Matt and say it's yeah. time to take Doctor Mylan Christopher off <laughs> the taboo list because he's obviously woefully underpowered at this point. <laughs> woefully so, I would agree. All right, well let's let's, let's try to do that again. All right, there we go. Look at that. There we go. Firing on all cylinders now. And then let's. It's um, my last action. Go ahead and play. Should I play shriveling or should I play in the know? Um. Given the number of enemies that we seem to be encountering, I would lean towards shriveling because it would be helpful to take out some of these small chumps. All right. So I'll play shriveling then with my last action. Okay. All right. So we go to upkeep. I draw a take the initiative. And I draw seeking answers. All righty. And we go to the next mythos phase. Turn six. How many clues do we need? One? Mm, yes. Okay, my card is going to be an episode. Oh, Jesus. All right. Uh, good thing that doesn't advance the uh, the agenda. Yeah, good, good thing. thing. And yours is going to be. Oh. <laughs> okay, game. All right, you, you kill, kill that guy. I'll kill this other guy. <laughs> All right. Lots and lots of enemies. Okay, well, at least we didn't draw a King's Edict, so this guy is not not gigantic. Yep, yeah, very true. Uh, 
So I guess I, I mean, will... I could, I could kill this guy with Stripling. I probably have a better chance of killing him than the Acolytes, honestly. Really? Could be at a five. I guess you'd also be at a five. Uh, I would be at a six. Oh, right, yeah. So it's probably better that I fight the Seeker so I can, like, engage, fight, do something else, and then he could move, kill these guys. Yep. All right, well, if you've got the Seeker, do you want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. So I'll engage this guy. Okay. And then second action, I'll shrivel. So that's going to be at a five versus two. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, you really need to stop doing that. <laughs> you really need to stop doing that. All right, no, I have one more chance. It's fine. Like, my hope was that you were just, like, paying it with beat cop on your way out, but... Well, I lose, is... I lose my beat cop if I do. Oh, that's right. right. It's not the level up one. All right, well, anyway, we're going to But I'd be willing to do it because we're going to advance the agenda. There we go. All right. So second, second tripling works. Okay, so he takes two damage. So I can kill him with the beat cop. Is it worthwhile? I mean, it probably is. Because we're otherwise we're just going to ad advance the act, right? Yeah. All right, he dies with beat cop. Then I will move. In here, I will engage this guy. Uh, this guy, it's five versus three. That's probably good enough. I'll just go five, three. Obviously not. That's an auto fail. Let's try that one more time. Five versus three, minus one. So yeah. this guy dies. All right. Well, we're we're. <laughs> cleaning up the third the third floor is just like there was a, a clown car's worth of cultists on the third <laughs> floor of this uh they're coming out of the walls out of the desk just non-stop so uh we're playing whack-a-mole here on the third floor really and are. Uh, that will be the end of the turn all right so i pick up an evidence and i pick up a word level two nice awesome all right, so let's see if we can't uh, go to the mythos phase. I draw a locked door attached to the location with the most clues. Okay, how about this location? Bam. Bam. That works. That's a nice uh, whiff. Your card is going to be another Maddening Delusions. All right, so that doesn't, doesn't trigger. trigger. Because I have no hidden cards, so it surges into you. If there is a cultist enemy in play with Doom on it, move all Doom from each cultist enemy to the current agenda. This may cause the agenda to advance, so we just move this Doom here. That's it? Mm, yeah, it looks, looks like, like it. Yeah, otherwise, if there are no cultist enemies in play with Doom on them, you search the encounter deck and discard pile for a cultist enemy and draw it. So, yeah, we just... So this guy's kind of pointless right now. There's no sense... Say, it's actually probably beneficial that we keep him alive for cards like Mysterious Chanting. So we don't have to draw other enemies. Yeah, let's just leave him there. Um, hmm... Well, I guess I should probably go grab a weapon. I'm going to play my prepared for the worst. Uh, search top nine. Since I'm already low on... Uh, so I have the choice of the Enchanted Blade. And that is all. It's better than whenever I play that card, I always whiff. Even if I put like six to eight weapons, my deck is still whiff. Uh, I think I will use my second action to play my emergency cash. And then I'm going to play my enchanted blade. And it 
that's three charges, and that'll be me. All right, so let's see here. With my three actions, I'm going to go ahead and think. First action is going to be gain a resource. Second action will be play in the no. Yeah, and then I guess last action, we'll go ahead and I guess we'll just move here. And that'll be my turn. Okay, we've got a passageway up here, don't we? Yeah, the historic the, that one location is a passageway. Mm -hmm. uh, both of them are passageways. So upkeep, you draw Doctor Mylan Christopher, nice. and I draw another B cop. There you go. Sweet. Okay. And so that's that. Uh, we go to the Mythos phase. My card is going to be Let Astray. You must decide. Place one of your clues on a cultist enemy. Place one doom on the current agenda. Um, uh, it's Peril, so I have to decide. You can't help. Um... I have a clue, you have two clues. Uh, we've only got two of four if I do that. But you can probably gain two clues this turn. Uh, I'm going to place my clue on this guy as a doom. And then I'll go kill him. Okay. And your card is a hunting shadow. Spend a clue or take two damage. Yeah. That's gross. Um. I don't really want to take two damage. Well, I'm trying to think reasonably. I don't know. I'd like, like we have to move in order for me to get clues. And if you're gonna move into back into the acolyte's location, uh, no, I guess I'll just take two damage. It says you're still echoing. Really? That's odd. What about if I move the mic a little further back? I feel like that would make it worse. Um, just give me a sec here. Is that better, Voland? Is my is mic better? A, is, is his mic echoing still? Is the mic still echoing? Okay, so yeah, it, we are getting because it made you an NDI source. It was I, we were getting both you through my headphones and ah, that explains a lot. Okay, so what we can do, uh, I think I can just do this, and now you should be fine. All right, let's test that one more time. Am I echoing now? Yes, no, yes, no. Hi, Jerome. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. Welcome, Tribulation Solo. Yeah, I think it should be fine now. I turned off your your voice as the... Uh, as the oh, as the headphone source. Okay. Yeah, that should work then. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, so you were trying to decide whether you wanted to take two damage. I was. Take two damage or spend a clue. Uh, I think I'm just going to take two damage, unfortunately. I think we need our clues. Alrighty. Maybe you'll be nice and, uh, give me some, give me some aid later on. Yeah, maybe. maybe. <laughs> it's possible. Anything's possible. Uh, I will gain my three actions. I'm going to wander into this 
area here. We'll engage this guy. Uh, I can fight, so I'd be six versus three. Chaos bag says minus two, so he is dead. And I think I will gain a resource so I can play my beat cop next turn. And that'll be me. All right. Hi, John. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it. Yes, two players. Yes, I'm joined by uh, Nate, Lost in Time and Space Winslow. We are playing through Echoes of the Past, Return to Edition. And we are in Whack-A-Mole. Yes. We're actually playing Whack-A-Mole. That's actually the game we're playing. So many enemies this game. So let's see here. I'm going to spend an action to move back into the second floor. And then I'm going to go ahead and spend another action and move into this location. This spawns with four clues. Four. And then let's see here. Ooh, another library location that has a reaction that says after you successfully investigate you can take to horror to discover a clue all right and then last action let's go ahead and investigate three versus five here chaos bag says <laughs> of course not wow all right so that's currently what like one out of five now yeah you've you've investigated five times and you have been successful at one of those times <laughs> Echoes uh, of the past, yeah, that that could be true, uh, Robert, for sure. I think we've got the echo straight at, sorted out, though. So, yeah, we we had a bunch of technical issues before, and and Skype wasn't allowing me to add his his video, and I forgot that we have to turn off his audio through Skype to, or we get uh, doubles. So uh, we are. I grab another. Take the initiative. Ooh, and a Hawkeye folding camera. Awesome. That Maybe actually... that'll help you investigate eventually. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Well, we're going to the mythos phase. We only have one Doom, though, so we're doing okay in that, in that department. My card is going to be the Agent of the King. Ooh, sweet. And your card is going to be that card. Okay, that could be worse. All right, Agent of the King. Mm. Uh, I'm going to gain my actions. I think I'm just going to fight him here. Can we advance yet? No, we still need clues. We still need two clues? Yeah. I'm just wondering whether you should go first, because if you... Uh, if you can grab two clues and then we can advance, then my location will refill and I've got an evidence. Okay. So uh, I could kill this agent of the king and grab a clue and then... Uh... I mean, I can try. So let's, uh, let's try. I guess with my first action, let's play Hawkeye folding camera. I mean, with my success rate at investigating, this will take all game to charge up, but that's all right. And let's go ahead and, and uh, use our second action to investigate. Five versus three here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm right. sorry to hear that, Robert. Delivering the mail in the rain cannot be... Uh... Oh, that can't be fun. Can't be pleasant. But I hope... Uh... I hope that me passing an investigation test actually... Uh, you passed? I oh, passed. I know. Oh, Look at awesome. that. Awesome. All right. So let's see if I can run it back again. Oh, actually, I could take two horror here. And just grab another clue. Also means I get a resource. So what do you think? Should I take the two horror? Um... It's up to you. I mean, you've got. You're at I seven. I tank it. 
Yeah. I think I'm going to do that. So let's take a horror here, a horror here, and then I'll take another clue. And then last action, I'm going to investigate again. Five versus three. You get a minus one. That's two in a row. Woo! Man, we're on fire right now. Awesome. All right, so we're going to advance. Or would you prefer to wait to grab that last clue so you can charge up your folding camera? Um, hmm, that's a good call. Uh, we could. It would also get me an additional resource if you wanted to wait. It's up to you. If you feel like you want to play evidence just for the sake of playing it. No, I don't need to. Okay. Because I can save the resource and play my B-Cop. Yeah, let's do that then. All right, so we're going to go six versus four with the Enchanted Blade. Uh, I don't think... I think that should be fine. Chaos Bag says Elder Sign, so I get plus three. Is that right? Plus three, and he takes two down. Uh, he only takes. Oh, I'd have to charge it. Shoot. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so he will just take the one damage. Um, let's do it again, but this time I'm going to charge it up. Uh, so it's going to do. Uh, an okay. additional plus one, so I'm going to be seven versus four for two damage. Uh, Chaos Bag says minus two. And I will attack him one more time, this time uncharged, uh, to go seven verse, uh, six versus four. I wish I had... Uh, because uh, I'm going to take two horror if I screw this up. I think I Sophie here. Uh, so we will go eight versus four. Chaos Bag gives us a minus one. So he is dead. Yeah, did it. Add him to the victory display. And that is our turn. Hello, Marjack. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could make it today. We are playing Echoes of the Past. I pick up a vicious blow, finally. And I got a copy of Sacrifice. All right. So we will go to the next Mythos phase. It is turn 10. <laughs> we haven't really done much. My card is going to be a Fanatic. Uh, he is coming to you. And oh, your, come on, man. your card is a, an Acolyte, which we will dump in here. Man. <laughs> Hell. I think we need more, more enemies. I think we need more enemies. You're right. Absolutely. I was really hoping that you would draw an enemy for me. Uh. Yeah, I guess I'll put him here, because there's... All right. Fun. Okay, at least I can deal with him. Yeah, you do have the uh, the shriveling. Yeah, so I think I, I'm going to go first, if you don't mind. No, nope, go ahead. All right, so I'm going to attempt to shrivel. What's that? Three versus, three versus five? Uh, yep. Yeah. One from the key, so let's go ahead and... Do I want to commit anything? I don't think so. So I'll just test three versus five. That's currently a minus one, so that's a pass, but I have to take a horror. And let the airplane above my house uh, fly away. 
But this guy is defeated. Yes. Finally, a passing test. This feels good. All right. All right. So that was my first action. Let's second action. Let's go ahead and... So we can advance now because you're not going to get that. Yeah, let's do that. So let's I'm gonna go ahead and spend my four clues. Oh, whoops. All right. So we advance to Act 1B, Late Night Studies. For each historical society location, add one clue to it per investigator to its maximum clue value. So there are two here, two here, two here. Actually, that works out okay for you because the now your folding camera doesn't. You don't have to go through four clues instead of. Uh, so we need four more clues. Uh, CJM, yeah, we are playing uh, Return to Echoes of the Past, so that's why there is a basement floor. Yes, the uh, that is one of the main additions to Return to Echoes, is the addition of a basement floor, although we have not even come remotely close to getting there, because we have spent all of our time killing all the cultists who were on the third floor. Mm -hmm. So you've got two okay. more actions to go. I I do. So let's see here. Uh, uh, second action, investigate. Yeah, let's second action, investigate. Uh, it's going to be five versus three, Chaos Pick says. <laughs> okay. So that's more in line with, uh, with the rest of my luck today. And then last action... Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna use my last action to play a shriveling or play a six cents rather, and then that'll be my turn. Alrighty, uh, my turn is gonna be pretty simple. I'm gonna play my beat cop, my second beat cop, since the other one went to kill the uh. The nasty cultist. And then I will move, engage this guy, and we will go seven versus three for a minus one, and this guy is dead. Feels good as Mark to kill stuff after after the last episode. Uh, and uh, not being able mm -hmm. to kill anything. It's all right. I just can't investigate anything. Yeah, that's true. You're... <laughs> so I get another emergency aid. And I got a copy of Enraptured. And you got Enraptured. Indeed. Welcome, CJM3407. Awesome, my own return to the path, but we only gotten through the echoes of the past first one time. Started playing last Christmas and love it. Slowly trying to old, acquire old content. Awesome, yes, new players always welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, so I could. Uh, so we go to the next mythos phase. My card is going to be a Led Astray. Place one clue on a cultist enemy. Place one doom on the current agenda. I guess we have to place a doom on the current agenda since there's no cultists around. Yep. And your card is this dude. Ooh, put him uh, Put him on the second floor connected to me. Actually, I guess you could put him closest to you. Yeah, I could... Uh, plenty of places to get clues within the know now so i can put him here and i'll go kill him <laughs> you've just been bopping back and forth at third floor all yeah no all i don't, I don't really feel the need to go uh to go anywhere but the third floor apparently not um i wish i was with him because i can't really uh i've got a vicious blow i could kill him in one turn uh, let me go first. Okay. Um, so Juicy says while he while we are whacking cultists, Leo is uh, mowing down cultists in Carnival with his uh, bar uh, weapon. A personal favorite deck of mine. 
So I'm going to move. I'm going to engage. Uh, I am going to. So it's five, six, seven versus two with the uh, vicious blow. Chaos bag says skull. That's a minus one. And this guy will. Watcha. Uh, did I need to? No, I needed to do three damage. Sorry. So I'm going to spend my colt here because I needed to do three to him, not two. So he will be dead. Okay. All right. That's my turn. All right. So let's see here. With my turn, I'm going to go ahead and. Actually, I'm going to play. Before I do that, I will play evidence. Grab a clue. Nice. There you go. So I guess with my first action, I'm going to go ahead and uh, investigate and commit this enraptured. And because my luck has been terrible, I'm also going to commit Island, Dr. Ryland Christopher. So it's going to be three, four, five, six, seven versus three. Yes, look at that. This is why I do this. All right, so I do successfully pass. So I get to put a charge here. Uh, actually, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Actually, I think I'm going to put a charge on shriveling. Because I can do that. And then I also get to get a resource. And get a clue. And then I'm not going to take the reaction ability, but I will spend another action to investigate again. We'll just go ahead and investigate uh, five versus three here. Nice. Look at that. So productive this turn. And then this triggers. And then let's see. Last action. Uh, yeah, yeah. We could advance too. CGM thirty four oh seven. Uh my Mark deck list hasn't been published, but I can certainly. Uh, I promised Varen actually weeks ago that I would make it publishable. So uh, I will uh, put it. I will endeavor to put it on Arkham DB uh, later today. Okay, last action. Uh. Having this peril card in my hand really kind of shucks. Um, I think what I'm going to do... Uh, kind of sucks to have to do this, but I can't really afford to take that much damage. I think I'm going to have to, unfortunately, play Ritual and sacrifice my my Sixth Sense. And then I will... Uh, any combination thereof? I guess I'll just draw three cards. And then that'll be my turn. And unfortunately, I draw this. Mm-hmm. And you jump. You jump. All right, well, that sucks. And then I have to take two horror at the end of the round. Okay. Upkeep, I draw a taunt. And then I guess I'll go... Um, I guess I'll go here. Because I can investigate that within the no. The uh, do we want to advance or next turn? Uh, yeah, why don't we do that next turn? Yeah, we can do it at the beginning of next turn. It's not, yeah, because I think you get control of Peabody, don't you? I think so. I also drew a Pathfinder, that's sweet. All right, um, yeah. Let's do this. Uh, no, this is a different uh, Mark deck, CJM 3407. 
Uh, my account is manned from Lang. I'm not sure. Did I build this deck based on Akan's Q's deck? It's possible. It's entirely possible because I, I rarely build my own decks. I really, I usually play pe decks other people build because I'm lazy. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. Uh, okay, so my card is going to be the Cult Search. There are no cultists in play. If there are no cultists with play in Doom, searching counter deck and discard pile for a cultist enemy and draw it. Sure. Let's bring out our buddy, the... Uh... Where's our Acolyte in here? He's... <laughs> There's another Acolyte on the, uh, on the floor. Have we drawn, like, every single enemy? I think so, yeah. You get that. Oh, joy. Wow, great. Awesome. Just what I wanted. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, so my turn is pretty clear here, if you don't mind. So do we want to advance now? Yes. Let's do that. So we'll, do we have four clues? I have three. Okay. And I have one. So we will uh, flip. So for each uh, revealed historical society location, add one clue per investigator. Sure. Uh, that's it. Uh, choose an investigator to take control of the set aside Mr. Peabody asset. Would that be you? Sure. There's Mr. Peabody for you. But he takes out Mylan. Um, that's, I think that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. And we put the hidden library into play. Uh, the hidden uh, the hidden library is right there. So you can give that thing the passageway trait, and uh, we need six clues, and we win. Oh, well, that's that sounds so simple. Mm-hmm. Okay, so first action, play Pathfinder. Three, oops, three. Second action. I'm going to. I mean, I could even just move into this other location back to where I was. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, it's a passageway action. too. Yeah. Yeah. So I think. Second action. I will move here and then the right because I played did I play something already yes, uh, I did. first action you played Pathfinder yeah, move and then I moved and then yeah then I have to do this jank so I have to move like this and then spend my last action Probably moving again, because I have these cards that'll kill me otherwise. Uh, actually... Yeah. Yeah, so I just gotta do some silly jank and just move back and forth like that. So I don't die. And that'll be that. Witch.com asks, hi, how are you liking two-player? Is it better than solo? I like playing solo or two-player. What about you, Nate? Uh, I like two-player a lot. Solo is more of a puzzle, whereas two-player is more of a cooperative experience. So they're, they're kind of two different games almost at that point. Yeah, I find uh, playing four-player, I get kind of antsy because... I just want to do my because usually the decks are a lot more specialized in four player, and I just want to do my thing and uh, 
but uh, yeah, I, I mean, I love the game. So playing either playing solo or uh, or multiplayer is fine. Yeah, and the way you go about constructing decks is a lot different for the two, for for the amount of players that you have too. So that's also really interesting. All right, I'm going to move over. I'm going to engage this chump, and I'm going to kill him. So we're going to go seven versus three. Chaos Bag gives me a skull, so he is dead. And now, do you need some healing? That'd be nice. Um, because I can... So what's... How are we going to... We need six clues, right? And yes. And we want to clear the hidden library? Yes, which I believe spawns with four clues. Is it total of four or is it eight? I think it's two per investigator, yeah. Two per investigator, okay. Uh, well, I will come down here then. Okay. And uh, I will... I've got an emergency aid that I can... Uh, spend on you that would be nice i know that you also might need it soon too so well i've got my beat cop so okay i'll probably keep him around for a while all righty okay so we go to upkeep i draw a vicious blow and you draw and david draw Renfield. Redfield. awesome yeah, just for, uh, we've got, wow, lots of people watching today. Uh, just as a, a quick reminder, we are uh, uh, playing uh, Return to Echoes of the Past. I'm joined by uh, Nate, Lost in Time and Space Winslow, my counterpart over on uh, the Great Old One Gaming Podcast. And also a patron of the channel. Mm-hmm. All right, so we enter Mythos phase, yes? We enter Mythos phase. My card is going to be Hunting Shadow. Shoot. I take two damage. Um, so much for that healing. Yep. That. So Sophie flips, so uh, I will be healing myself, unfortunately. Yeah. I do have a hollowed mirror in my deck, though. I just need to draw it. That would be... Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I yeah okay so uh and your card is going to be let astray i guess we're adding a doom yep okay uh i could ward that um yeah it's up to you it's peril so yeah i'll do that actually i can have mr peabody take it so yeah, I'll just I'll go ahead and ward that. All right, uh, let's get our actions back here and wave a. So I think my turn's going to be pretty simple here. Let's. Do you mind if I go first? Go ahead. Chad right, so. uh, Reverman asks who we uh, think will be in the Innsmouth conspiracy. Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I think Silas is a pretty easy conclusion to come to. Um, Kate? Uh, hopefully. I could see Gabriella. Um... I would I would also suspect anyone that's in Barkham Horror would also be a likely Jacqueline. A likely sus yeah, Jacqueline. Um I would like to see Kate Winthrop too. So hopefully Matt was listening. I'm sure he was. He asked us. But let's get back to my turn here. So first action is going to be to uh to get a resource, which I know is kind of strange. But let's get a resource. Let's use Gatebox. Let's spawn this. And then let's play Vantage Point. 
Oh, now your vantage point isn't showing up again. Fine. Oh, weird. So let's snag a clue from up here, I guess. Let's put it on Dream Gate. And then let's use our second action to investigate zero versus, uh, let's see, what's that, four? Yep, four. Get a cultist, so we pass. Get to charge this up. And then, let's see here. Um, if one action left, which I'm gonna go ahead and use to move to here. And then I can use Pathfinder to move here. Yes, is that correct? Uh, I is think you what? need to make it a passageway with... Uh... Well, this location is a passageway. No, but the hidden library is not. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. You have to make okay. the hidden library a passageway with... Uh, gotcha. With Mr. Peabody, with Peabody, I gotcha. Peabody, yeah. Okay. Uh, so last action was move there, and then I guess I'll just not use Pathfinder then. And then that'll be my turn. All right. Well, I will... I'm going to heal first action play emergency aid so I can flip Sophie back over um, I guess I can move to this passageway and I'm just going to investigate is there anything terrible that can happen? Hopefully not. Nope. So we'll just go... Yeah, it'd be only two versus three. I don't really have anything to contribute to that. I'm just going to draw a card, I think, then. Okay. I only have eight cards left in my deck. Wow. Uh, taunt, again. All right. So we go to upkeep. I draw my signature. Uh, I'm going to pitch a taunt. I don't think I need it. Uh, so at the end of the turn, I didn't perform a play action, fortunately. So I have to deny some damage and then take a horror. Okay. And then I drew a copy of Premonition, should come in handy. Mm hmm. All right. So we're going to go to the next Mythos phase. Still only two Doom on the first agenda. My card is going to be a Hunting Shadow. Frickin' hell. Yeah, the um, scenario can drag on. Uh, so I'm taking another two damage. Uh, I guess... Um, I do have the home... F uh, no, I'll just cancel that. I'm not paying attention to my cards. I will just cancel the damage with, uh, I've had worse. Okay. There you go. Is that the one that gains your resources, too? Yep. Yeah, nice. All right, what do I get? You get a locked door. Ooh, fancy. That's okay. We don't need to investigate there, I don't think. Mm, nope. All, All right. right. So should I go first and then use Peabody? Move. Yeah, I'm I'm wondering whether you should go in to the hidden library and I can just play sweeper out here. Okay, that works. Cuz otherwise, yeah, like there's no sense in us both being I can't do anything in the hidden library for you, so Okay. Unless you draw an enemy. Yeah. That's but I think are we set to uh there's four cards uh 
there are two cards left in the encounter deck, so we're going to start seeing another bunch of enemies here. Mm, fun. So if we can finish it off quickly, then... Yeah, so why don't I go and then do that then? So I'll use Peabody. I'll make this a passageway. And then I'll go ahead and uh, move my second action. Which seems weird with a Pathfinder in play, but if you see the card that's in my hand, you'd know why. All right, so that spawns with six clues. Victory two, four shroud, and then while an enemy is moving, Hidden Library gains the passageway tree. Yeah. So we just All need right. to discover six clues, and we will be... Uh... Hunky-dory. Okay, so let's see. Last action, I guess, is just to investigate. Uh, four versus five. Yeah, it's kind of sucky. Uh, I guess I'll also commit this uh, seeking answers for an icon too. So it's gonna be uh, six versus four. Or you could premonition. That's alright. I drew a minus one. Both work. Both work. <laughs> Both work. No, I want to hold on to this premonition for when you need to fight. Uh, when you need to fight that guy. Which guy? Uh, which uh, whichever guy spawns that causes bad stuff. Oh, if we ever get to that point, this guy yeah. here, the the possessed oath speaker. Yeah, either him or keeper, both are not great. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm pretty ready to take on either of them at this point. Um, I have six cards left in my deck. Um, I haven't drawn my other Colt. Um, I'm just going to move, I think. I'll just move to a central location. Uh, no, I want to be in a passageway, because then I'm one step away from you. But I, I do have elusive as well. I mean, you're in a passageway now. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what to do. I could summon the man in the pallid mask if I draw him. Hmm. And then go kill him. I'll draw a card. I get another elusive. Um... I'll just grab a couple resources, I guess, and uh, call it a turn. All right. And I draw an unexpected courage, so okay. I'm I going draw my to second copy of shriveling. Get rid of. I don't think I'm going to need two elusives this game. So Juicy just was victorious in his game of uh, Carnival. Nice work. Nice. We go to the Mythos phase. It is turn 15. My card is going to be the King's Edict. So no clues happened. So it gains Surge. Uh, but that has to stay in play because we might draw a Cultist. Uh, no, we get a False Lead if you have no clues. False Lead gains Surge. Okay, so we surge into a hunting shadow. Oh my goodness. She <laughs> whiz. Okay, I guess I take two damage. Uh, not two clues, two damage. And Sophie flips again. And your card is Led Astray. Mm, so there are no enemies in play, so we add a doom. All right. Um, I mean, our objective's pretty clear here. Mm hmm. <laughs> There's no. Did you have to shuffle the encounter deck again? Uh, yeah, I believe it's shuffled. All right. Yeah, so... we're back to a new encounter deck, so. Okay. Um, hmm. I mean, I would assume my turn's just going to be investigate, investigate, move. Because I have to move, otherwise I get a little too close for comfort with damage. Uh, you've got to make a passage. I think you've got to make this a passageway again, though, don't you? 
I would, yeah. So I'd have to be investigate, move Pathfinder back in. Um, actually, I have a better idea. So we're just gonna we're gonna ride it, ride the brink of death here. So my turn is gonna be pretty simple. So first action is gonna be to play Renfield, and then second action is gonna be to do this. Third action. Uh, we'll go ahead and investigate. So that's going to be six versus four. Chaos Vague. Or sorry, five versus four. Uh, let's, let's just commit this again for another plus one. And we get an Elder Sign. Sweet. Charge on my gate box. So it was first action, play Renfield. Second action, investigate. And then third action, let's go ahead and move. Or it was third action, do this. And then let's go ahead and end my turn. And then when I end my turn, I have to do this. Okay. So that's the one where, yeah, you have to move every turn or take a direct damage in horror. Yeah, so I have to unfortunately lose my key, but. Okay. But it is what it is. So the key will pop, and then I'll heal to horror. Oh, that was obnoxious. All right, it's your turn. All right, I'm going to play uh, Scene of the Crime for a clue. And... So I'm minus one on all my skills, but I need, I have, uh, I do have one more healing card in my deck. Uh, I guess I'll just stick right here. I'm not gonna, I guess I can bring out the man in the pallid mask. Uh, so we. Oh, I thought I, I thought you wanted me to make that a uh, passageway so you could move in. Uh, do you want me to move in? I mean, I did spend an action to do it, so... Okay. Well, I can move in. Then. <laughs> uh, so I have one action remaining. Um, I guess I'll just draw a card. I get another I've had worse, so that's good. There you go. Nice. All right. So that is my turn. All right. And I draw the man in the pallet mask. Nice, and I got a got another copy of Ward, so. So he spawns at the furthest location, which um yeah. how would that work with passageways? Uh mm hmm. I guess that is a good question. I would assume the basement halls is the farthest location if yeah. that's the case. Um, yeah, so I guess he just sits down there. All right, that's fine. All right. Uh, mythos phase. I draw an acolyte. There we go. The train of enemies is coming back. So I'll put him here. And you draw a fanatic. Revealed location, which is ours. So that goes there. That's who he's engaged with, right? He can spawn engaged with you because we're at the same location. That is true. So he is engaged with me. I so, mean, I could fight him if you want me to. I have are we going to have enough clues? Oh, we only need two more clues. So once we clear this, we're fine. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I have in the know too, so we can always just investigate other locations. Right. Okay. Very well. Uh, do you want me to go first, or do you want me uh, to go first? Um, I'll go first. I've been sitting on these take and take the initiatives forever. Yeah, why don't you do that? Uh, I will go five, six. Um, I might as well sp spend a charge. Uh, five, uh, five, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, a lot. Minus three, so he's That's dead. That's when you draw the tentacle. Yeah, that, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so that's done. Um, just wondering if I... Uh, oh, I should have committed my stupid home front. Oh, well. Next time. Uh, I'm yeah, just going to draw worry, two cards. Okay, I, I draw my hallowed mirror. And I'm going to play my Hallowed Mirror. Nice. There you go. Which gives me my uh, Soothing Melodies. So I killed, drew Hallowed Mirror, played Hallowed Mirror, which gives me Soothing Melodies. You can go ahead. I need to uh, create some Soothing Melodies for you. some okay. reason I didn't put them in my deck. Um, so let's see. I have three actions let's first action let's go ahead and investigate um, yeah I don't think I'm gonna come in anything else so it's gonna be let's see here three oh that would be four do you four versus to, four do you want me to commit mm -hmm. something uh, I've got you, an unexpected courage uh, sure yeah all right, so there'll be six versus four here. Ugh, gross, of course. All right, well, that sucks. Um, hmm, second action. Let's... I guess let's premonition. Uh, hmm, uh, hmm. Actually... Yeah, let's let's premonition. Let's see what we get here. All right, we get a minus two. Um, hmm. I don't have enough icons to go to up. I have one. I can get you if you need it. I have one as well. So let's do that then. So second action, we'll investigate again. Do you need me to commit mine? I do. Okay. So that'll be six versus four, and then I draw the cultist for a minus two. Let me snag this clue, and then last action, I'm going to draw a card. Oops. Yeah, oh, great. Draw a Hawkeye folding camera. All right, that's my turn. All right. So I draw my other 32 colt. I draw a Pathfinder. And we will uh, move on to the Mythos phase. So we are actually advancing. We are, yep. Uh, what if what do you use Renfield had to remember that? Shuffle encounter, discard pile into encounter deck. Yeah, the first advance doesn't really do much of anything, so yeah, we need another four doom. Oof. My card is going to be Seeker of Carcosa. He will go there. He gets a doom. Your card will be a Let Astray. Uh -huh. We only need one clue, right? Well, technically, yeah, we only need one clue to win, but we need two to get the victory points. So. Hmm. Yeah, 
we're gonna you're not planning on killing those enemies are you i don't think so unless you create a passageway for me which would be a waste of trying to investigate i just i don't have any means of boosting my investigate anymore so uh i have a car actually i'd have to like spend my turn drawing cards I think I'm... I might be able to grab a clue if I go first. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> it's, uh... it's entirely possible. I've got to take the initiative. Well, I think you're going to have to kill this seeker because he's just going to advance at some point anyway, right? Yeah. So I, I'm just going to put a clue on him to get flipped over and add it as a doom. All right. So he has two doom. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And yeah. All right. So why don't you go ahead and go first then? Uh. Well, if you. Um. So do you want me to investigate or do you want me to go kill that guy? Uh. Is it one or the other? It's probably one or the other, right? Uh. Not necessarily. Um, I'd have to go first to give you the passageway, though. Yes. I mean, I can heal you as well if that's an issue. Um, I mean, it's not not an issue. <laughs> uh, so what are you investigating at right now? Currently a four. So it's four versus four. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Um, I would be... Five versus four for one investigate. Why don't I? Okay, I have an idea. Why don't I go first? Okay. I'm gonna create a passageway. Okay. I'm gonna draw a card. That reduces the shroud value too, doesn't it? It does minus one. So this will be a three. And then second action, I'll draw a card. Okay. And then third action, investigate. And it'll be four versus three. It'll just go as is, one up. All right, let's see what we get here. Minus, and it's a minus two. Minus two, yeah. That's unfortunate. All right, well, that's my turn. All right, I will... Shoot. Um, I'm going to heal two damage on you. Maybe, thank you. Uh, I will move. I will taunt. I will attack, vicious blow and home front. So I am four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Minus four, there so you go. he is dead, and I heal. So I flip Sophie. Woo! There you go. And that's my turn. All right. But we need two clues. We can do this. I believe in us. All right. Uh, I draw another soothing melody. And I draw an enraptured, so that's actually helpful. All right, so this turn is looking good because I, I have a means of boosting boosting my intellect by two this turn. So. All right, my card is a Maddening Delusions. Uh, I do not have a hidden card, so it just surges into the cult's search. Um... We put a cultist enemy in, into play. No, it says if there is a cultist enemy in play with doom on it, move all doom from each. If there is no cultist enemy in play with doom... Oh, so we have to go find a cultist. All right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll just go get a one of the chumps. Uh, where is our chump? Acolyte, acolyte. Acolyte. There we go. 
They're hanging out together. The, fir the third floor is refilling up with acolytes. Do they all just like come in through the roof? Is that yeah, what's I happening? think there must be a hole in the roof. That's why they're all coming in that way. Is there's just a hole in the roof? Yeah, uh, your well, card is that are locked, one. So they have to <laughs> have to go up through the roof. You're getting all the hidden cards this game. Oh joy. Oh, it's the, it's the same one I had last turn. Great. That's okay. Now I have some uh, I have some damage to deal with that, so that's fine. Um. So why don't I go first, so that you can come back in here if you need to. Okay. Um. So first action, let's gain a resource. Actually, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Let's first action. Use Renfield to gain a resource, and then we'll play St. Hubert's Key with my four resources. And then let's go ahead and second action, investigate. It's using Raptured, and that's going to be four, five, six. Yes. Uh, actually, let's let's use this first, and then last action, investigate. It's going to be a three versus a seven. Uh, three, four, five, six. Sorry. All right, there we go. Nice. Boom, and uh, I guess here. Boom. All right, that is my turn. Okay, so we're one clue away. Uh, I will go and kill this guy. Uh, so I am a five, six, seven versus three. He dies. Um, I'm going to heal myself. And that'll be me. Upkeep, I draw my last soothing melody. And I take a horror. I drew a copy of Renfield. All right, next mythos phase. Man, this game just goes. Oh, I didn't lock this. Um, so we'll just remove that doom. Um, what? It's turn nineteen. Jesus. Yeah. This scenario takes a long time. My card is a false lead. If you have no clues, I do have a clue. Um. Okay, this is a bit of a problem. That's not too bad. Uh, I have a take the initiative, though. So I can go five versus four. I could I go can't... six versus four. You probably should save that. Minus one. No, I want my clue, because you can win <laughs> it this turn if you... Uh... I was just going to say, you could have used Sophie and then just heal two damage later, but it's okay. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yours is the cult's search, so we need another cultist. More acolytes. Bring back the acolyte. You come back here. This goes away. You gain a doom. And that's that. Alright, so... So I think I'm just going to basically run back my last turn. Okay. Um, so, first action, use Peabody. Second action, let's investigate and commit Renfield. So it's going to be four, five, six versus three. Chaos bag says minus one. Nice. Awesome. Bada bing, bada boom. And then we have six clues, so we can advance. All right. Uh oh, wait, no, you need to be in here. Oh, I do. Yeah, we have to spend them as a group so okay that's fine but that's fine though um, so i guess last action i'll just uh draw a card 
Okay, so I will gain my three actions. I will go, I will move. I will kill this guy with the B-Cop. Perp. Uh, I will move since you made it a passageway and we're done. Nice. Bada bing, bada boom. That went a lot better than last time. Unfortunately, they didn't, uh, this scenario didn't really change. No, no, it didn't. I was hoping for a little more pizzazz, I guess. Yeah. But adding yeah, it kind of was too. Adding that extra floor didn't really uh, do very much. Yeah. Since no. all the action was on the third floor of this game. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, the, the changing up of the, I mean, those changing the whispers in your head to those other hidden cards didn't really... I mean, it changes it a little bit, but not very much. No. I but, mean, it was kind of annoying when I had two of them, and I had to basically, like, move, play something, move, play something every turn. Yeah. But, yeah. But, uh, yeah, adding a basement floor didn't really... Uh, they could have, I think, maybe done something different there, but... It is what it is. We, it uh, is indeed. We do end up uh, walking away with uh, three VPs. Uh, yep, because you killed the agent of the king, and we discovered all the clues of the hidden library. All right, so I will have four four XP to play with next game. And I will have three, so it looks like we're probably going to upgrade a shriveling or something like that. Four XP is perfect for two beat cops. Bada bing, bada boom. I think Keeper of the Oath Are is they? supposed to spawn when you advance the act as well. Oh, there's a, the special rules. Uh, oh, because it's not on the act in the agenda card. Yeah, it's not on the act. Let me see if I can find it here. Uh, if they spawned. Uh, shoot. Where did I put that thing? Uh, I'll just create it. Uh, keeper... Uh, no, we need return to... Yeah, that would have definitely changed things. Well, we may have to roll back here. We'll see. Okay, so... So... Uh, for the duration, after the investigators advance to Act 2 or 3, spawn a set-aside Keeper of the Oath in any empty historical society location. So he would have gained Hunter. Okay. And at the end of the enemy phase, find each investigator whose location shares a trait with Keeper of the Oath's location. Move one clue from each of those investigators to Keeper of the Oath. Oh, that would have completely screwed us. But does it? Because we finished, we advanced, right? How many yeah, turns we, did we advance? We advanced to Act 2 a while ago, though. <laughs> Let me see here. Shares a trait. But he'd have to be at a passageway. Yeah, but when the enemies are moving, the hidden library is considered a passageway. Plus, we've been making it a passageway with Peabody. No, but he has to be at a pat. This guy has to be at a passageway. The keeper would have to be at a passageway. Mm hmm And the only passage, like, unless we took three or four turns, he would have to go one, two, three, four turns to get to a passageway. Mm-hmm. So his text wouldn't have triggered... for four turns and we haven't been on a new act for four turns how long has it been feels like an eternity yeah 17. i'm looking at i'm looking at that i mean yeah we we could have also killed him which is um mm -hmm. 
I'm just more worried about if we would have had enough clues. I think we would have, because he wouldn't have grabbed clues until... Uh, until he was in our location. Until he was at a passageway location. Mm -hmm. uh, just scrolling back to see where we... Looks like it was turn... Turn 12? Turn 13? I think it was 14. Or maybe it was earlier than that. Wow. Yeah, I think we advanced quite a while ago. I mean, I think point being is that you probably would have just gone down and killed it immediately. Yeah. Yeah, no, I would have definitely. Like, there were a lot of turns there where I didn't do anything. Yeah, I don't think it would have really done much of anything. Well, lesson learned. We need to read the cards. Yeah, RTFC, I guess. Uh, yeah, I can't seem to find where we... Doesn't yeah, it was looking feel too. like it was that super long ago, but... Yeah, I agree, Lodrak. We could have easily had killed him. Um... This is like Mark. Mark had, like, both Vicious Blows and home front throughout the course of those turns, so he could have easily had just gone in and shot him with the call or stabbed him with the Enchanted Blade. Well, maybe it was... Why can't I find it? I don't know. I was looking for it too, man. Because it wasn't like until... I think it was turn 17. Really? Yes. It was turn 17 it? we advanced. So <laughs> he was only on the table for two turns. So he wouldn't oh, have been okay. anywhere near it. Like, he wouldn't have been... And then, and then another one, yeah. So he would have been here. Well, one would have one would have come out during Act Two, and then one would have come out during Act Three. Yeah. Oh, they come out during the acts. Yes. Oh, I thought it was agenda. Okay, mm -mm. no, then I'm screwing up. Yeah, no, we could have. I think we would have killed them. But yeah, that's a screw up. I do have five combat, so it would have been it would have been a test to pass, but whoops. RTFC, I guess. Yeah. Oh well. So Yeah, we okay. forgot to spawn the new guys. That's the problem when they hide things on other cards that I don't happen to be looking at. Right. So we would have had two of them show up over the course of the game. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's a lesson learned. We will uh, hmm. do it, but this scenario kind of sucks. <laughs> so I don't really want to. Yeah, I had the two take the initiatives pretty much all game. So I, I think I would have been able to kill them. And I had my, my uh, enchanted blade that would have helped um so yeah yeah it would have taken them time to move to us for sure yeah i agree uh Lodrek. it definitely doesn't make it that much more engaging it just means you have to go honestly i think it probably makes the scenario even longer just because now you're forced to like deal with this stupid enemy that takes all your clues yeah Ugh. Oh, well. That's all right. We have Return to Unspeakable Oath coming up, so that's exciting. Yes. Yes. This, this. Uh, I mean, Echoes was never a great, particularly great scenario for me anyway. I mean, it always seemed pretty pretty easy adding a couple yeah, it's, enemies. Yeah, it's, like, it's not like the scenario's hard. It's just, it's so long because you're, you just spend so much time doing nothing, essentially. 
Yeah. Oh well. Anyway, that uh, yeah. I guess that'll do it for this stream. Anything you? Any final thoughts, uh, Nate? Before we head off? Uh, no. But I am excited to uh, tackle Return to the Unspeakable Oath. That'll be fun. Yes, that will be. Uh, it's one of my favorites from this uh, from this campaign. So I am uh, looking forward to that one. And uh, we will. Uh, I guess we'll be back in a couple weeks' time with a with another playthrough. Hopefully, we'll do it right this time. Yeah, and hopefully we can get all the technical kinks sorted out. <laughs> that would also be good. Out. That would also be good. All right. Well, until then, uh, thanks very much, everyone, for uh, for dropping by the stream today. I hope that you enjoyed it, and we will see you. Uh, I will probably be back with a stream on Friday, and uh, Nate and I will be back in a couple weeks with the Return to the Unspeakable Oath. So we will see you then. Thanks for watching. That's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoy what you hear, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you need to contact me, I can be reached at manfromlang at gmail.com. I am also on Twitter at manfromlang. Until the stars are right, keep your shotgun close and your elder sign closer. Take care out there, and happy investigating. <laughs>